So at the time of filming this, uh, my cat is right here, and uh, he would like some. He would like to say something. Subscribe to the channel. What do you get to say, buddy? What's going on? You having a bad day today? So at the time of this recording, tomorrow the RTX 4080 Super will be out for purchase. Um, I am not that excited, and I kind of want to tell you guys why, and also go over some of the 20 series information that kind of correlates to this whole entire launch. Let me let's let's start off with these benchmarks here from TechSpot. So TechSpot, if you guys don't know, is Hardware Unboxed. Um, Steve over from Hardware Unboxed does all the writing on this channel or this uh, website. And so pretty much their numbers should all line up. Looking at these numbers, uh, I was pretty surprised. When the 2080 Super came out, a lot of people kind of went a little crazy to go grab that card, talking about how much faster and better that card was. Um, for whatever reason, I, in my memory, I recalled the 2080 Super being about 15% faster than the normal 2080, getting really close to the RTX 2080 Ti. Now, if you remember that too, please write a comment down below because for whatever reason, I would always be hearing that left and right. When I was recording this, I became so stressed out that I could not remember the 5% uh, performance increase. So I asked a few friends of mine who were at the time into selling hardware or still do on a regular basis, and they all said something similar, 10%, 20%, and yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Turns out I was wrong. It's on average about four to five percent faster, which is right here. On average, the 2080 Super was five percent faster than the standard 2080. So now the 2080 Super class is starting to look a lot more familiar to the 40 series Super stuff. This is kind of like where I have a problem with this whole thing, because over the past couple of weeks, I've watched tons and tons of YouTube channels all getting crazy excited for these cards and it's like i don't understand why it's not like we have made some new leap in performance or anything this is not like a 4090 super and although that to me seems unnecessary at this point it would be the only leap forward where nvidia is basically just shifting around their current stack they took 200 bucks off that's cool it's great but 999 in general is already overpriced for that card in fact, I don't even know what the launch price of the 2080 Super is. I'm pretty sure it was like 699. 2080 Super will keep its price. The 2080 has dropped down to 630, so I'm assuming that it was like 699 or something like that. Yep. Same price, $700. So, they're $300 more for the same class of card. Um yeah, this is just one of those things. I feel like everyone is getting kind of led on again. The same exact thing is happening that the Super Series uh, had happen. People got all sorts of excited. They're like, oh, they're correcting it. They're correcting it. And these are way better than the previous cards. And it's like, they're not that much better. They're literally just slightly better. I always like to beat on the uh, Asus ROG Strix a little bit here. But I mean, like, come on. $1,449 after tax. This is over $1,500. And why Why is this shroud $500 more than the other? Uh, this, this is like you could buy the 4080 Super and a 4070 for the price of this one card. Now, I haven't seen every single um, AIB doing it like this crazy. There's been, I don't know, a couple of them that are, they're, they're mostly around that like, uh 1300 range ish and that's what you're going to pay after tax but like going back to the whole performance per dollar thing it's like we're really um we're really way out of touch and it shows here too by the way and some of these older benchmarks with the 2080 versus the 2080 super i don't know when we got so confused but people kept telling me like how much better the 2080 super was and i go back and i watch some of these benchmarks and it's like the difference is on average two frames per second on like half these games and i'm not gonna this game this was actually a, a one example where it it shined bright like a diamond actually no i'm wrong <laughs> i mean you have a better uh one percent low that's for sure but on average the performance difference i mean some of it here you got four or five fps you know this over here obviously is the 2080 ti so we're not even going to look at that that's a 25 percent difference but um on average 
their performance was so close. And it was just kind of strange to me because I remember talking to people all the time and being like, why are you buying the super instead of the other one? The other one's almost a hundred dollars cheaper half the time. And you're going to pay an extra 120 something dollars with tax for three FPS. Just get the older one. And that's what actually, that's what I would say. If you're looking to buy an RTX 4080 super, maybe don't maybe buy the 4080 that's on the discount rack at Micro Center. That's, I don't know, $7.99 or something like that. Cause you're gonna have to discount them pretty heavily. I don't know if they'll go that low, maybe like $8.50 um, or just say, screw it and buy a 7,900 XTX because there's a ton of those for good deals right now too. And yeah, don't be afraid to not look at AMD because AMD is a totally viable option that people look past every time Nvidia comes out with new cards. And I just have to say it, you know, it's like, I don't care. Nvidia, you know, Nvidia's DLSS, in my opinion, uh, looks a little bit better than FSR, but all these cards at the high end range, it's like, you shouldn't even be using DLSS or FSR. You should be all to just run your panel, you know, and not have any problems. Obviously these games here are being tested probably, uh, let's see, when was this tested? Four years ago. Um, stuff has improved quite a bit, but the main point of making this video is just to tell my audience or anyone who watches this to not fall for the trap of these super cards. They're really not that much better. Uh, the 4070, like I said, 4070 super is better. It's the only one that makes sense. The rest of the lineup, I don't know why people are so excited about them. It's just Nvidia shifting around their, their market, their, what they have, their stock. Um, obviously they have made some changes to the actual hardware and the die itself. It's not just, you know, it is a new product sort of, but they're really just shifting around the stack, trying to make a second round of money on all of us. And then before you know it, you know, let's say you wait a couple of months, you pick up one of these super cards, we're going to be rolling into the 50 series range. You know, you're going to have 50, 80 rumors and 50, 90 rumors or whatever it be. And then you're going to be like, you're going to have that. 3090 Ti remorse, you know? <laughs> I feel bad for all those people who bought those cards. Actually, I don't know if I feel bad. I almost feel like maybe they deserved it because people <laughs> were telling them during that time, probably don't buy that, probably don't buy it, except for Jay's Two Cents. Jay's Two Cents was the only person who was like, go out and buy a 3090 Ti right now. And that was, uh, that was some bad advice. He knew that too. He knew that that was bad advice and came out and basically apologized for that video. Um, but yeah, so I don't know, just keep in mind, just remember 5% is what we got back then. Everyone told everyone that these were so much better. I, they sold so much better than the regular 20 series. It was, it was impressive. People were constantly buying them and it was all just a marketing trick, um, at the end of the day. So I think we're going to look back at the 40 series and realize how much of that whole this whole entire lineup has been mostly marketing tricks look at what they did with the 4070 ti that was a 4080 and then they dropped it down and if that's a 4080 back then what is the 4070 ti super is that a 4080 regular i i don't even know like see this is where it gets all confusing uh anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video just a rant style talking head video uh, that's my cat papa right here and uh, yeah, we're going to go hang out and play some games. So like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.